In the last lecture, we learned about collections and we learned that a collection is basically a collection of documents. Now, in MongoDB database, we store data in a collection as a document. So, in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn what are the different ways in which we can insert a document in a collection of MongoDB. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. So, currently, I am in this SampleDB database. Now, here, let's first check what are the collections available in this SampleDB database. For that, we can run this command show collections. So in this sample DB database, we have two collections, customer and products. Now let's say we want to add a new document inside this customer collection. So for that, we can say DB dot. So this DB is pointing to this sample DB database. And in that sample DB database, we have this customer collection. And in this customer collection, we want to insert a document. For that, we have two methods, insert one and insert many. Now, if you want to insert only one document into a collection, you can use insert one method. And to this insert one method, we need to pass a document. For that, within these parentheses, we specify a set of curly braces. And inside that, we specify fields. So in this document, I want to have a name field. Let's say its value is John. I want to have an age field. Let's say its value is 32. And let's say I also want to have a gender field. And let's say gender is male. Okay, so using this insert one method, we can insert this document which we are passing to it as its argument into this customer collection. So if I go ahead and if I press enter, you will notice that this document has been inserted inside this customer collection. And to check that on this customer collection, we can call find method. So this find method is going to query all the documents from this customer collection. And here you can see that document has been added inside this customer collection. And when this document was inserted inside this customer collection, MongoDB also added this underscore ID field for that document and it assigned it with an object ID. All right, so using insert one method, we can insert one document in a collection. But what if we want to insert multiple documents at a time in a collection? For that, we can use insert many method. So let's first clear this shell here by typing this CLS command. And now let's say I want to insert multiple documents into the customer collection. For that, we can say DB dot customer, which is the collection name dot insert many. And to this insert many, we need to pass an array. For that, we use a set of square brackets like this. And inside this square brackets, we can specify multiple documents separated by comma, something like this. So this is one document. This is another document and this is another document. So inside this array, we are specifying three documents. Now let's go ahead and let's specify some fields for these documents. So for the first document, let's say I want to have this name field where name is Sarah and I want to have gender field and let's say gender is female. For the second document, I want to have this name field and let's say name is Rajesh and I want to have age field. Let's say age is 30. Then for the third document, again, I want to have a name field. Let's say name is Steve. Then let's also have a gender field. And let's say gender is male. And let's also have this age field. And let's say age is 27. So if you notice here, all these three documents does not have the same structure. The first document has name and gender field. It does not have age field. The second document has name and age field. It does not have gender field, but the third document has name, gender and age field. So the structure of these three documents are different from each other. And in the very first lecture, I mentioned that MongoDB is schemaless. That means we can have documents with different structures in the same collection. And that's what we are doing here. Here we are trying to insert three documents with completely different structure. And it should still work. It should not give us any error. So you can see all these three documents have been inserted inside this customer collection. And for these three documents, these IDs have been assigned. Okay. So if I go ahead and if I query the customer collection again by using this find method on this customer collection, you will see that those three documents have been inserted here inside this customer collection. And since we are not specifying this underscore ID field explicitly while inserting these documents, this ID field has been added for each of these documents implicitly by MongoDB. So remember that 
MongoDB will always add this underscore ID field to a document if it is not already present. Let's clear the console again. So this insert one and insert many are the two main methods to insert a document into a collection. Now we also have another method called insert and this insert method can be used like insert one or insert many. So let's quickly have a look on how this insert method works. For that again we can say db dot customer which is the collection name dot insert and using this insert method if you want to insert only one document then to this insert method you can simply pass that document here let's say this document is going to have a name property and let's say name is mary and it is also going to have an age property and let's say age is 32 so here we are passing a document to this insert method now if i go ahead and if i press enter this document has been inserted in this customer collection. In the same way, if I want to insert multiple documents using this insert method, in that case to this insert method, instead of passing a document, we need to pass an array. And inside that array, we can specify multiple documents. So here using this insert method, let's say I want to insert two documents. So in the first document, I want to have a name property. Let's say name is Tom. And I want to have gender field. Let's say gender is male. And I want to have age field. And let's say age is 34. And for the second document, again, I want to have name field. Let's say name is Mike. And I want to have this age field. And let's say age is 36. Okay, so if I go ahead and if I press enter, you will notice that these two documents have been inserted inside this customer collection. So Using insert method, we can insert either one document or we can also insert multiple documents at a time into a collection. But remember that this insert method is highlighted as deprecated in every official language driver since version 3.0. So in a real world application, when you are working with MongoDB, you are going to interact with MongoDB server using a programming language like Python, JavaScript, Java, etc. And in order to do that, you will need drivers. For example, let's say you are writing an application in Python language and there you are using MongoDB as backend. So in order to interact with MongoDB using Python language, you need Python drivers. In the same way, if you are using Java language for your application, then to interact with MongoDB, you need a Java driver. And this insert method is deprecated in most of those drivers. There you have insert one and insert many. So make sure while inserting documents into a collection, you stick with insert one or insert many and you avoid using insert method. Since insert method is available in MongoDB shell, that's why I wanted to show you this method also. So in this lecture, we learned how to insert a document into a collection. In the next lecture, let's learn how we can query or fetch documents from a collection.